I think, throwing strikes. And going back, taking stuff to your kids. Throwing strikes is huge. You want to make the batter earn it. And it's also a positive frame of mind. Every kid has to know, and, and even when you guys, even if they hit the ball, they're going to make an out seven out of ten times, right? So let them hit the ball, because chances are they're going to make an out. And that's the good hitters. Good hitters are only going to get hit three out of ten times. So, you know, it's all about your, your frame of mind, because you stay positive about it. And like I said, make them earn it. Throw strikes. Remember, you got seven guys behind you that want to play, too. Okay? But... Uh, Key to, the key to it is not, not to rush. I notice a lot of you guys are, are throwing. And you get here and you let go of the ball and you kind of do this. Make sure you get out there and you follow through. Finish your pitch. You're going to have a little more life on the ball. You're going to have a little more velocity on the ball. Um, the, 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 I like the best grip. If you want to throw strikes, four seat fastball. You've got the horseshoe right there. Don't choke the ball. When you choke the ball, it comes out kind of out. That's what you want to do when you throw a changeup. You want to choke it. And one good thing that you take home to your kids is a changeup really shouldn't even be called a changeup. Because immediately when we think changeup, what do we think? It's slower, right? So what happens? Kids out there, he's pitching. You know, here he is, throws, throws a fastball, and then he goes, oh, changeup. <laughs> it slows down. You, you, you've already told everyone you're throwing a changeup. You haven't even let go of the ball. Grandma knows. So I always try to tell kids, it's not a changeup. It's a fastball <clears throat> with a different grip. So you're not instinctively telling yourself, I have to slow down. The grip is what makes the ball come out of your hand slower. And, you, and it's almost deception. You wonder how guys swing and miss at a changeup. They're out front like this because they're not really swinging at the ball. They're swinging at your arm action. And you want your arm action to be exactly the same every single time. It's repetition, repetition, repetition. Uh, I try to tell the kids, you can work in front of a mirror on your on your form because you want everything to be the same. You watch kids, uh, you know, if you are like to hit and you're on the on-deck circle, you're practicing your swing, right? You're practicing your swing. You're trying to do the same every single time. You're not going like this golf swing or on that, it's always the same thing. And it's just like pitching. You want to make sure everything is always the same. Every grip that you have for every pitch, you want it to be the same. Okay? Uh, move your fingers around on the baseball. It's all about finger placement on the ball. Make it do different things, put different pressure on different fingers. So the last finger that touches the ball, a lot of times that's the way the ball might move. For sinkers, Put your fingers in there like that. And again, you want to choke the ball a little bit with your fingers like that. Now, you want to see some daylight. You don't want to choke it way deep like that. And you don't want to squeeze the crap out of the ball. You, if you walk up to your kid and he's on the mound, you should have be able to knock the ball out of his hand. It shouldn't be that tight and that tense. You want to be relaxed, smooth, positive frame of mind. You guys are going to make it out seven out of ten times. Any questions? Curveball. Curveball? <laughs> well, it's the best pitch to throw for a breaking ball for your arm. And you just kind of off-center your grip so you can get four-seam rotation on the ball. And you get out here, and then you turn your elbow and your, your wrist in like that. And then it's just like pulling a, pulling a shade down. Just pull it down like that. And make sure you follow through with it. A lot of times when uh, if you don't follow through, you just throw a little flipper up there and it's going to hang up here, right, you know, for the hitter. It's a fat pitch. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when, you know, with a changeup, whenever you miss with a changeup, you want to miss down in the dirt. The higher you miss with a changeup, chances are it's going to get whacked. I would always concentrate on the changeup um, at the catcher's shoelaces. And also, if you want to take it to another step, when you're focusing on the mitt, I mean, eventually, uh, evidently, we're, we're playing catch with the catcher, okay? So you're throwing to the catcher. Now, break it down, when you see the catcher's mitt, you're throwing it to the mitt. So if I miss the mitt, I'm going to hit the catcher still. So you make the picture smaller. Now, try to focus on a spot in the mitt. So if you miss the spot, you're still going to hit the mitt. Miss that spot, you still hit the catcher. 
So break it down, just keep it, you know, it makes you focus more. What do you mean it's the best pitch for your arm? Like what, you said the curveball is the best pitch for your arm? What, best what for a breaking ball. In what sense you mean? Like well, it, it's not as hard on your arm as a screwball, as a, as a slider. A slider is the worst pitch for your arm. Your kids kids <laughs> today try to, oh, can I, you're 12 years old, you want to throw a slider? Uh, I'm talking to you when you're 15 or 16. So your, your arm can be developed more. But the, the biggest problem with kids learning to throw curveballs or sliders or whatever it is at an early age, the saddest part is they are going to have success with it. Why? Because none of these other kids have seen it before. <laughs> So they're like, holy crap. Next thing you know, they're out there throwing 40, 50 in a game, and their arm falls off. So that's the saddest part about kids learning to throw a breaking ball at an early age. Even if it's terrible, they're still going to have some success with it.